Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back of his teardown lab. I have here one of those tablet keyboards. You've seen these. Just because I didn't want to break it doesn't mean I won't. Um, this is really tough. I don't know how they fix this piece of plastic in here, but I put quite a lot of pressure behind it and I couldn't get it off. Look, look at that. It's really tough. It's a tough old bit of plastic. However, I shall defeat it. There we go. We'll pick our way through. A little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Nice. Now we got it. It's quite well made, really. You'd have to be... Oh, there's a magnet in it too. Look, magnets. Well, hey, free magnets. Let's get those out of there. We're going to need those. And they're really tough magnets. So those are the things that keep your tablet planted when you chuck it in. I'm really, I'm glad now I've dismantled this. I would have thrown away those without thinking twice about that. It's interesting how all the different sizes they are to fit in all the different cavities. Is that all of them? All gone. So here's that connector. You can see it's like a ribbon. I'm gonna bend this back. So the pogo pins are connected to a ribbon. There's our magnet saying hello. It's a really thick ribbon there. Get off. And that's it, the ribbon's gonna go into the keyboard. So the pogo pins are on a ribbon there. This is the keyboard. It's a hard plastic back. And then this materi material, I'm just going to take this and slice it clean across. Ah, which is harder than it looked, actually. Is this bit useful for anything? Not really. I'm going to chuck that. So I like the way it folds. It's, is it magnetic? Yeah, it's got some magnets in here. So let's do a, let's do a tear down of this. Let's see what's inside one of these fancy schmancy cases. Oh, it is, it, whatever it is, is actually hard enough to make a proper, you know, nasty scraping sound on my knife. So I was seeing what makes all this thing magnetic, but I've got bored of this now. It's really, uh, it's more effort than it's worth because it's so difficult to get into. And then I try to actually open this to look like, it's just, argh! It does not want to capitulate with my curiosity. I just can't get into it. So let's chuck that away because it's not really going to reveal anything to us that interesting. I'm more interested in this unit. And we did, uh, oh, what was that? Oh, <laughs> that was my magnets just jumping to the corner here. I'm guessing we've got some interesting things to find in there. Great. How are we going to get into this? Can I get an edge? Can I get an edge? Oh, it's just as heavily laminated as the top. I don't know, whoever made this should bloody work for the Formula One teams because their knowledge of sort of composites is superb. Right, there we go. Oh, I really like this keyboard as well. But it failed me for the last time. I'm going to try to keep as much intact as we can so we can see what's in here. Working my way round. I'm curious how the touchpad works actually. The touchpad is obviously connected to this top. Oh, it's, 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 it is kind of a, oh, it's a real thing. Oh, I've lost a key. Oh no. And the keys themselves actually do have the real genuine proper sort of key, you know, springy things. When you pull apart a laptop keyboard, you do get those too. So it makes it even worse that it's actually a reasonable keyboard. This isn't like a sort of Sinclair ZX Spectrum here. So I'm going to try to put this key back in. Is this a front slash or a back slash? Or, whoa, a front slash is a front slash whichever way you turn it round. How spooky. 
So I'm just pretending if I actually did break this off and I really did want to fix it, how would I fix this back on? My kids, oh, there we go. Good. Whoa, now you're talking. Now you're talking, Cobba. Look, one, there's four magnets in here. Let me just get those out right away because I love these magnets. These are gonna be great because my kids always stick in stuff on the fridge and they've always got really rubbish fridge magnets in everything they stick up. And every time I walk past the wind, the wind of me walking past whips them away. So I can see instantly how this all works now. Oops, sorry, sorry, Mr. Keyboard. Look, we've got a actual ribbon cable that's coming through this five pin ribbon cable. That is the actual cable, I believe, that goes to the connector. If I can lift this keyboard, we'll discover that. And it's going to a controller here, which is then going to the keyboard membrane here. You see that there? Which then has a whole dedicated trackpad area. And if we just gently lift this, we should be able to actually pop this whole trackpad out. Yeah, we have. And it's adhesive. God, you could stick this to something. You can make your own project, project with a trackpad in it. Uh, I'm just trying to keep the ribbon on it. I don't really can't be bothered to undo it. Right, so we can get rid of this bezel. In the bin of shame you go. Now this opens up all sorts of interest, interesting possibilities. It makes me wonder if this trackpad is a USB device on its own. And if that it is, then you could plug this in on its own into your PC. Just trying to read the chip of it. It's a TK20814 AEATB32. Hmm. I'm going to try to zoom in so that you at home can play along and see if you can also read that off. There you go. Look at that. Find out what that is. It's actually got a module number. Look, an XBTSF 3 version 1.2. 40 by. Wow, that's cool touchpad module mm. right not enough about that enough salivating over that let's see what we can do with this i have this is metal this back is metal look wow oh man i really feel bad now about busting this up do you know like when you um oh wow you know, you feel loath to pay money for something. You go, why, why do they want like, you know, X amount of money for this keyboard case thing when I can buy a cherry keyboard for whatever? Yeah, I do appreciate the irony, by the way, of me sticking that key back on so carefully only to be ripping this thing apart. I think, I'm trying not to cut my fingers off with all this. God, it's a pretty flexible keyboard. Oh, how cool would that be? This is so futuristic. It's like the Matrix. D -d -d oh. <laughs> uh oh. I think it'll work. No. It somehow doesn't want to be bent at that angle. Right. I like this. This is like one of those Microsoft ergonomic keyboards. I think I'll just leave it at that. Do your own, do it yourself. DIY ergonomic keyboard. Perfect. Just tear at it a bit. Look, it's so awesome that I really hope it comes off in one piece and I still manage to get this to work because I could just glue it to something and I can make my own awesome keyboard. I'm, I'm just sort of clipping these keys on a little bit every now and then, every time I, I can see which ones are trying to jump off. Stay back down. Come on, you're almost there. You're almost there, guys. Oh, I think my hypothesis will be proven. Yes, indeedy. There we go. Look at that. Ah, oh, yeah. This could be the best thing that's ever happened to me, ever. Look, so that's the uh, wire that goes to the pinout thingy, thingy, thingy. Um, um, I'm, I'm audibly umming because I'm wondering, do I want to keep this? I'm just going to cut it. I don't, look at what is wrong with these this thing's blunt now. Um, the reason is I'm probably, if I do try to experiment with this, I'm probably gonna just solder straight onto here and solder a USB connector. But uh, I'll just keep this, you know, nev you never know if you might need it. I'm just gonna stick it on the back there. It's got a bit of sticky, sticky still. Uh, there's my touchpad, brilliant. Now, let's see, we've got the keyboard bit. I'm gonna throw this metal piece away into the recycling. Ugh. 
is this keyboard still intact? I think I've got to get this space key on. That's the, that's the key that determines everything. If the space key is not working, then I'm going to have to bin this whole thing. And I think it is. And I'm just going to feel it all up. Feel it all up. Oh, it's stuck. The back office mat is now a keyboard. Look. Brilliant. You can make your own sort of carpet. Oh, it feels so luxurious putting it on carpet. Yeah, I love it. Okay, sorry, that's way too exciting. So I hope that's uh, of some interest to you. That's cool, that's awesome, right? I know I didn't get this working earlier when I was fanning around with the pogo pins, but now I'm a bit more uh, you know, intrigued by it all. I'm gonna do a bit of research and see if I can actually get this really working by actually identifying these pins properly and just probing the heck out of it. I hope uh, this has been of some use to you. Please feel to comment down below. If you know what these chips are, these modules are, please send me the link so I can try to get this working. Is this a keyboard, uh, sort of standard keyboard? ribbon cable arrangement. It's an XKT NB005 and perhaps uh, you can just buy these and use them in your own projects. I wish I could. I'm going to make an arcade cab or something just glue this in because you always need a little keyboard somewhere just to sort of reboot the bloody thing when it's crashed or something and, and this could be the way to do it. Even a little touch area, touch zone in the marquee somewhere just to sort of move a cursor around make some selections and you need to like a developer mode. As ever, thanks for watching.